Salutations, ladies and germs. My name is Mr. Fox, and welcome back to Destiny 2. And today, we are going to be looking at the new Iron Banana Auto, Dark Decider. The perks on this weapon are auto loading holster. When it's stored, it reloads the mag after a short time. High caliber rounds for that slight increased range and flinch. Your other option is extended mag, but you lose a lot of reload and that little bit of range. You go up to 60 in the mag, but I'm going to go with flinching and a little bit more range, you know. Our barrel options are corkscrew rifling for a slight increased range and stability. Well, a smidgen of handling. Your other options are polygonal for more stability. Fluid barrel for, well, more handling. But you lose out on range and personally I'd rather get the most range out of this gun that I can get because it does suffer from range issues, and its intrinsic perk is rapid fire frame, deep ammo reserve, slightly faster reload when the mag is empty. As this is a 720 round, we are gonna wanna get up so, so close, like super close. Otherwise, we're, we're not gonna do much damage. So without further ado, let's do this. Bungie said they were gonna make it so you got the same map less often in a row. <laughs> Well, our first game was here, and it did not go that great, because, you know, short-range weapon. Your lead grows sharper. Challenge me, mortals! I demand you! Of you? Demand of you? I don't know what I'm saying. I'm tired. I was so out of it that I forgot I was arc stripping. One thing you really need to keep in mind with this weapon is when you get shot, you are gonna flinch a bit. So try not to get shot. That's my advice. Surprise, motherfucker! Ow. And this, kids, is why you never solo queue in the banana! And why you need really good aim if you're using Jade Rabbit! Mr. Fox, did you get... No, we do not have the range to engage Graviton at that part of the map. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! Whoa there! Premature ejaculate. Calm down. A little space splooge all over the wall. No one wants to see that. Just put it away. Put it away, sir. I mean, thank you for wasting like all of your Some ammo shooting a wall. Some advantage is yours. You colossal dumbasses. Myth the fact it's like everyone's using the meta and you're running around with a not all that great auto. I mean, it's decent. It's mainly designed for close range engagements. And in the banana in 6v6, close range typically means you're gonna be encountering multiple people all at once. Cause that's just how the banana is, especially if you queue solo. Chances are you're not gonna have the best time. It's the banana. Six stack or GTFO basically. Does about 12 to the body in its range, 14 to the head. Land all those headshots, you can probably drop some pretty quickly. It's about less damage, I think, than most SMGs can inflict. So you gotta keep that in mind. If you want a short range auto option, you're probably best sticking with an SMG. Witness me, I am awaited in Valhalla! Noobs! Thank you, bye! 
everybody. You're the best. Holy gee, yeah, Graviton. It will wreck you. And your mom. And your brother. And probably your dad, especially if he's an asshole, Graviton Lance. We'll do a number on him. I'm not advocating you shoot your dad. That is not at all what I'm saying. Where is my aim? Mr. Fuck, where was your aim in the Huckleberry? Shut the hell up about the Huckleberry, okay? Meme of everyone I've ran anything with. I mean, it's good at killing trash mobs in patrol. I mean, so is my nade, but hey. So I wanna poke their head in? Five minutes left. Oh no, not C. Well fought. Uh huh. We did it! Yeah! Ah, ah, victory! I can't believe they haven't made you Tower Commander yet. You can tell Zabala I said that. I mean, we kind of slipped down the rank at the end. But A. Highest efficiency, most captures. I did the things, guys. I actually played the OPJ. So, what did the last match teach us? The up close, like from here to there, is our optimal range. It's a 720, what do you expect? Myth Fox, if you use the. You can, no, 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 it's still more consistent than the Huckleberry. Was I just stuck? Okay, did I get hit by anything else before that trip mine? I really need to know because opponent claimed there was a lot of nades going off. Not all of them friendly, I guess. I out here, this is not a good lane for us to deal with. Inside, sure. Outside, definitely not. I hear her fighting, but nope. Everyone's dead. Back up, back up, buddy. Death is over there. Death. Death! Nothing but death! Ah! Can this gun compete with anything at range? No. Maybe if you get a range asterisk on it, but... Again, 720. Not... They're not exactly the most long-range effective weapons if you want to deal with someone at range. Why well, have it paired with the rabbit? Nope! And on average, with the mag for killing your target, if your aim is, well, just alright, probably gonna get down to maybe 30 in the mag before they die. 30, 25, 22-ish. Could you let me kill your friend in peace, Forbidden Moon, Mr. 2.1 Efficiency over there using the meta? My efficiency would be so high if I didn't use these weapons all the time. What the frick is up with this dude? S silly kill time. You... Jesus. What the f What? Okay, sir, I think you accidentally plugged your router into a potato. I know, it's a very common problem here on DT. What I need you to do is connect it to the internet, not the potato. Okay? Not the pot- Zone advantage oh is yours. Potato. And away we go. Captured zone B. Power play. Uh -oh. All zones oh, for the love of closer. Jesus Fight Christ. On. Fuck. And let's be honest, it is a complete and utter clusterfuck. Cause chances are your team eh, not gonna work together all that well. They'll engage the other team with the other team death balls and your team's just kinda running around like this, all chaotic. They are gonna get picked apart, one by one. Very, very quickly. Sir, I need you to put down the Mida. And stop using that barrier. 
we can hit your head from here. You, you realize that, right? You got the wrong barrier on, buddy. I feel bad for killing you, kinda. No, not really. B is mine, you bastard! Ha! Everyone is running Golden Gun right now just to counter the Arch Strippers. Like, what the hell did I just spawn into? Again, with your laggy ass potato, dude. Ch put it, ch Zone dude. Lost. I will pay for your internet at this point. That is how tired I am of people lagging around. Where am I going? Can it compete with a Braytech? Most certainly not. No, no, you are not gonna have fun if you run into that thing. Because Braytech has built in high cal with its precision frame. Because reasons, I don't know why Bungie thought that was a smart idea. If. Yeah, I've, I've already ranted about that enough. See, G Lance is gonna struggle up close against this weapon. The problem is, though. If you have to reload, that time it takes to reload is the time it's going to take for g to kill you if they're good enough to land all headshots. In the Dark Age, we called this fun. Did we? Or in the Dark Age, did we just call this, ah, oh, I did my Oh my, for the love of God! I did that thing again, Bungie. You know that thing where you're going to charge and you're moving forward so it thinks you're trying to sprint still and it takes you out of your aim? Then you don't shoot? Yeah. I, I really don't like that little bug. I don't even know if it's a bug or if it's just the way the controls in this game work. Hey! Yeah, the mag size, if you're not landing all your shots, you're definitely not going to have enough time to probably drop a target. The second target, at least. First target, you can take down easily, but on this map... I feel like, again, the Osiris maps lend them a lot more to these weapons. But, well, we're not getting the Osiris maps a whole lot. Except yesterday. Yesterday I was just getting them left and right when I want to hit the play banner phone. Is it so bad to want to play banner phone? Just dance. Dance her way to victory. Like the guardians of the galaxy. No, we're, we're not going to do that. Okay. Oh, are they all dead? They're all dead, aren't they? Would you please just stop it? You're just a fun killer, you golden guy. You're a fun killer. No one loves you. Not even Pamela Henderson. Right? We did it. We dealt it, salty hooligans. We did it. I don't know what death adverse is, but we did that too. Probably not going to mean much. Your markmanship would put Cade Six to shame. It really wouldn't. Bungie's like, remember how we made it so you would have the same map less frequently in a row? Right? 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 Anyone remember that? No? I do. My question is, why would you stand up from behind your shield? Like, you see a bunch of people by, you're like, you know what's a good idea? Rushing them. Popping my head out of the cover. Own advantage is yours. Ah, oh, crap. Gonna. It's good. You defended the point and got blown up for your efforts. But I respect you. You died, heroes! Heroes for the Empire! Long live Kylo Ren! Long live. The. 
Stormtroopers, you know? Stormtroopers lives matter. With the fact that wasn't again, are we sure it wasn't Jimmy? Are we sure this isn't the weapon? I feel like it might be the weapon, you know? Oh my god, this auto, it's so good, guys! It's so good, the auto, it's just so good! It's so good! With the fact that is not the auto, fine, Jimmy. Fine. Fuck, your aim is atrocious today. I know, Jimmy, I know. It's been all downhill since D1. My skill, I've become old, decrepit. Zone advantage is yours. Uh. Holy Jesus, man. Kudos to you, sir. Your aim was on point. Zone B captured. Bring it on, Tater Nuts. All zones held. Who the hell did I hit you? Lucky like a hurricane! Celebration taps come out! The Iron Lords could have met you. So do you th they did. You met me. Ephrodite met me. I am an Iron Lord. Why do you keep talking to me like I'm not an Iron Lord, Saladin? We've been over this. Every banana. Every single banana. We've been over this. Will the Dark Decider PvP? I mean, it's a decent option. I probably wouldn't use it over something like, say, the Hero's Burden. Or an ener any other energy SMG for that matter. Because I find the Hero's Burden up close is a little more consistent than this just because of Threat Detector. And I imagine if, well, this would come in pretty handy, the auto loading holster, if we were storing it. But maybe with a little more range, if you can get a ranged masterwork on it, it will be pretty decent. But at this point, I feel like you're better off with an SMG if you're running a long range weapon. Just the way the meta is right now, SMGs just seem to be a little more effective. Don't get me wrong, 720s are... they're all right. They could use a little bit of love, I guess, but... They're essentially glorified SMGs running around as autos. If you're gonna use this gun, treat it like an SMG. It's very situational, it's best to use if someone's trying to rush you. When you're using a long-range weapon, just quickly swap over to it, melt them down in the face. I mean, the precision damage you're looking at is like 14. 720 rounds per minute. You can deal quite a bit of damage in a short period of time. Probably not as fast as like a Stochastic or a Hero's Burn can, but it's a decent option. It looks pretty. If you want a pretty weapon, you cannot go wrong with this. And let's be honest, that's with the fact that that was the case. And what about Huckleberry? Shh, the hell up about Huckleberry, Jimmy. I'm not talking about Huckleberry ever again. We probably will in the future because I just that gun so much. So yes, Dark Decider. It's super high up for a weapon that's like you need a lot of rank in the banana to buy. I feel like it doesn't live up to that rank that it takes to get this weapon. Most of the banana weapons I've gotten, like all the ones I've gotten so far from Season 3, they look really nice, but they just feel pretty average. Like, they don't do anything that makes them feel like, yes, you need this gun. Like, this isn't a weapon I'm going to say, yes, you got to grind for it. This thing's amazing. It does what it does, and it does what it does well. It's just, I feel like there's better options out there. Some people may have really loved this. If you love 720s, 
you'll probably love this gun. If you get a masterwork for range, it's probably going to be a little more effective for you than it was in this video. If you run, perhaps, dual energy counterbalance mods, this thing will shoot like an absolute laser beam for you, most likely. So, definitely try that if you want it to be super effective. The hell fell off? Not a clue. Something fell off my desk. It's a mess, so it could have been anything. Maybe it was... Jones Barbecue Foot Massage! No, no, definitely wasn't that. So anyways, thank you all for watching, and a big thank you to all the support you've been giving on the comments. Like, thanks. Makes us feel worthwhile, especially during that giant drought of content we experienced where it's like, oh my god. The new DLC can't come soon enough! Now it's like, yay, content! Like, I really love PvE right now in Season 3. C PvP needs a little more tweaking, but damn there, it's getting to be a really good place. I enjoy myself for... Most of the time when I play. So again, thank you all for watching. If you liked what you see and want to see more, leave a like, subscribe, and as always, have yourselves an amazing day and stay classy.